Hi there, my name is Shaitan and I'm with GymDev. In this video, we'll look at creating a mega menu for our Asteroid Framework template. Right now, I have a simple menu item where some menu items are displayed like a regular drop down menu to the right. And I will be converting this to a menu, a mega menu, along with a few other things that you can do with Asteroid. All right, so the structure of my menu is this mega menu being the parent block type layout and features being the sub menu items and at the third level i have these menu items which are under them so i'll go to mega menu and i'll turn on mega menu and now i have to add something here so i can change the grid if i want different set of columns fortunately i only want three columns so four of each and inside these we'll add these ones so we'll add layout first block type second and features third. I'll go ahead and save this and I refresh and you can see we have our mega menu here. How easy was that? Now the reason the sub menu items display below the menu items and not open to the right is because the menu item type is actually heading. So you must have your menu item set to being a heading or a separator in order to achieve this layout. All right, so if I go ahead and change this, let's say I change it to be an article. So what will start happening is, we'll start acting like a regular menu items where it drop down open to the right. So you see what that looks like, there you go. Okay, so to achieve this layout, you wanna make sure you're either selecting separator or menu heading. In this case, I'll just go with menu heading as it has good styling. Okay, perfect. So there we have our mega menu. Uh, what else can we do here? Um, Asteroid allows you to do a lot more. Okay, you can move things around, do all of that. And you can actually add modules in here as well. So let's say I'll just add a contact module below this one. See how that works. Okay, there we have our contact module. So uh, easy peasy. All right. Uh, let's look at these features real quick. So you can change the menu to be icon only. So I'll go ahead and select a random icon here. And right, we'll select this icon. And we'll also add a subtitle, okay? Great, uh, make a menu. Okay, refresh. And you'll see the benefit of doing icon only is the text will go away and this will be set to the icon only. It's much wider because of the subtitle. If I go ahead and remove the subtitle, you'll see it'll take almost the space that the icon requires. And you know, works exactly the same way. You can add custom classes in here. The width is applicable if you're not using the mega menu. So if I'm not using the mega menu, I can save it. And you'll see the width I have is about 320 pixels. So I can change it to 100 pixels. And let's see, it'll change to 100 pixels and is applicable to all sub menu items as well. So you can configure this as you like. Uh, another new feature that we added in this version is the badge. So you can add a badge on a, on a menu item level. So let's say I want to make it, uh, you know, new, you know, I want to call it that. And let's give it a shiny purple background. All right. Uh, most purple. Okay and give it, you know, green text. That'll highlight, okay, I guess. Or maybe give it white text. I don't know, no pose it, but you get the idea. So text color should be white, right? And the background color should be purple or purplish, okay. So you can do that and you'll see the badge is there. So the badge will work with text as well. So you don't actually have to have it icon only. You can, you know, change it back to text where it'll work with text, with icon, without icon as well. And one more thing you can do is, you know, you, let's say, I mean, the idea of the badge is to be able to highlight it. You know, if you wanna highlight it even more, since Asteroid is here uh, again, and works with, you know, uh, Font Awesome, and animate CSS, you can actually add some classes here. They'll actually make the you know menu item animate 
in an infinite loop. So let's say I'll just copy an animation of uh, GitHub animate CSS. So let's say we'll go with shake or yeah, we'll go with shake. Okay. So the class would be animated shake and let's save it and you'll see this will shake when it loads. So, all right, so shakes enough, all right? Now, if you want, want it to keep shaking, we can actually add infinite, which means it'll keep running indefinitely. So if we do that, and keep drawing attention, you know, so that's something you can do. It's for the whole menu item, not the badge. I mean, some users might find it frustrating, but you know, you get the idea. Uh, you, you, there's, there's a lot you can do. And that's pretty much it about the mega menu. And you know, you can see there's a bug there. So it really doesn't work well with the, you know, the Z index goes behind, but you know, you get the idea. So this is what you can and cannot do with the asteroid mega menu. Uh, if you have any questions, head on over to asteroidframework.com or our website joomdev.com slash forum and let us know what you think. Thank you for watching.